Hi, and welcome back to TV. Up next, we have a silent film by Mike, Jesse, and Taylor. It's kind of like Rocky. Oh, which Rocky movie is your favorite? There's more than one? Yeah, there's six. Ooh. All right, anyway, watch this clip. Anna, do you eat raw eggs? No. Come on, everybody eats a raw egg here and there. I mean, that's that's it's, disgusting. It just tastes like milk. I mean, the yolk's a little gross. You know, something that has nothing to do with eating raw, raw eggs. eggs. Come on, man. We, we have an original coffee. music video by Amanda yeah. and Mike.
Wow, that was psychedelic. Yeah, it was. Have you seen any good movies lately? Well, not necessarily good movies, but I did see Titanic 2. How do they make another Titanic? Oh, you know, another ship, another Leonardo DiCaprio clone, and there you go, Titanic 2. Weird. Anyway, coming up next, we have a trailer for a film about spooky janitors. Custodians. No, janitors. Custodians. They're janitors. They're custodians. No, they're janitors. They're custodians! In a small town where life was simple, there were three girls, Jessica, Victoria, and Stacy. Three carefree girls unknowingly creating a living hell, for their lives are about to change. I just can't take it anymore. We need to do something. What if they just disappear? <sighs> <laughs> Hey Ben, I gotta see you for a second. Attention students, it is with great sorrow that I inform you that a student from our school, Ben Nybor, has gone missing. If anyone has any information about this, you must report it immediately. This should get them. Yeah. Whoa, a quarter! Hey, it's mine! No! spooky trailer. A trailer about custodians. Janitors. The title is called Kniving Custodians. Conniving Custodians. Next we have a monologue by, who is it by? Amanda. Amanda. Amanda that's who it did. Yeah. About music. Check it out. It's part of human nature for us to want to stick to what we're comfortable with. And since we're social beings, it's not wrong to want to follow a crowd or be a part of something. But I'm peeved with ignorance when it comes to quality in music and the arts. I don't like the fact that the true creatives, people who push the boundaries, are forced from the public eye for people like Britney Spears or Lil Wayne. It isn't right that inspiring, hardworking people are struggling to make a living just because talentless people are living the good life. I believe that as long as we continue to have a class where the champagne flows and the cars come free, it needs to be occupied by people who have earned it, people who continue to inspire us day to day. The point is, whether you like rap music, rock, or metal, whether you're into movies, comedy, or art, in almost every corner of popular culture, the safest, most easiest to understand product is the one that is the most popular. A creative task has been crushed by desperation and greed for money by the animals at the top of the food chain who leave us to help ourselves to whatever they've discovered will make them money. This process will only work as long as we keep participating in it. We have the ability to change it. What makes us human beings great is our ability to think. So what I'm trying to say is, start questioning things, maybe even pick up a book once in a while. This message can do a lot of good, whether it's through music, movies, or fashion. Well, thank you for watching. That's the end of TV. What was your favorite part? Uh, I like conniving janitors. Don't even get me started with that. What was your favorite? I liked the commercial about the Mac and PC Canadians. Is it because you ate an apple and made a stupid pun about Macs? Maybe. Thanks for watching. Right. Hold on. What are we st Hey. You watched that show? Oh my god. Has Take Harley down in five. Um, our next bit is a 